Hi, this is Madhura. Welcome to MadhuraRecipe.com Developing a New Test. Today we are going to make Dahi Wale Bengan. Bengan is an Indian eggplant and this are baby eggplants so they are cooked in spicy, exotic, creamy yogurt sauce. It tastes super delicious. So let's get started with our ingredients. Here uh, we need to use baby eggplants and just cut them in lengthwise. Once you cut this eggplant, just keep them in cold water so that they will not change its color. Now uh, we need to marinate this cut eggplant for some time. For this, uh, take some ginger garlic first. Add some turmeric powder and some red chili powder. and mix this well after mixing it properly now just rub this mixture over eggplants add all eggplants make sure you use uh, baby eggplants you will find them easily at Indian grocery store now just Rub this mixture over this cut plant. After coating each eggplant properly with this uh, mixture, now we are going to shallow fry these eggplant pieces. To fry these eggplants, just heat about 2 teaspoon oil in a pan on a medium heat and add these coated eggplants into a pan. Add one by one. Add all the eggplant. Now sprinkle some salt over it. This will help to cook it faster. And and cover this. And let it get cooked for about four to five minutes till the eggplants are done. After about cooking this eggplant for about 3 minutes, now open cover. Now just flip this eggplant so that they will get cooked evenly from all the sides. Now again cover and let it get cooked for another 3 to 4 minutes till the eggplant fully cooked. After cooking this eggplant from other side as well, now open cover. You can see the egg, these brinjals are properly cooked, these pengans are fully cooked. Perfect. Now it's a time to make sauce for this eggplants. I have heated just about a tea teaspoon of oil. Oil is hot. Now to this add whole garam masala. In whole garam masala I have some cloves, cinnamon stick, bay leaf and cardamom. Black pepper corns. Now add some fennel seeds into it. Start this and add chopped onion and uh, fry this till onion becomes translucent. Here I am using about one and a half cup of yogurt. Just beat this yogurt till the time it becomes very smooth and soft. Beat it properly. Once this yogurt becomes smooth, just keep it aside. Now onion has become translucent. To this we are going to add now dry spices. Here I have some coriander powder. Add some cumin powder. red chili powder 
and cook this till oil separates from the spices. Oil has started to separate from the spices. Now just take off this pan away from the heat. Just keep it aside and wait till the time its sizzling stops down. Then we are going to add yogurt into it. Its sizzling has stopped down completely. Now add this beaten yogurt into it. Mix it well. Mix it quickly. And again take this pan onto a heat. We take out this pan away from heat uh, while adding yogurt because this way it avoids curdling of yogurt. If we add it, this yogurt directly into a hot pan, there are chances it may get curdled. Now keep it stirring continuously. I'm going to add some water. And cook this for another 5 to 6 minutes. Here I have about a teaspoon of corn flour. I am going to add some water into it. Just mix it. This corn flour acts as a binding to this yogurt and it does not get separated. Add this corn flour mixture. Mix it well. This looks so delicious. Now add some sugar. Make sure you cook this on a very low heat. And some salt. Just to taste. Mix it. And cook this for another 3 to 4 minutes. Add some kasuri methi or dry methi leaves. Just about a teaspoon. Mix it. And let it get cooked for another minute. Now add this shallow fried eggplants into it. Mix them and let it get cooked for another two minutes. After cooking this for about two minutes, night now turn off the gas heat. This the hewale pengan is ready now. It looks so yummy. You can see this yogurt has not separated at all. And it has got a very nice binding of this corn flour. It has got very nice creamy and smooth texture. This is how we want our dahiwale pengan. Perfect. This dahiwale pengan is ready. They look so yummy. This penal seeds, kasuri methi gives very nice unique taste to this yogurt gravy. Serve this with roti, paratha or with rice. Thanks for spending time with me. See you soon in another part of mudratrecipe.com developing a new test. Till that time, bye bye.